And after I harvest the ears of corn, I'll chop the plants off because there's no point in watering them, maintaining them because they only yield one or two ears of corn each. And I bring the stalks, put them in the compost pile. You know it. So I take a piece of wax paper and I microwave that for two minutes. I let it cool down for a few minutes. Then I remove the wax paper. Then I take this basting brush and it's got macadamia nut oil and I just coat the corn. And I buy this by the gallon from oilsofaloha.com. And it's got a nice buttery flavor. It's almost nutritionally exact as extra virgin olive oil. Then I sprinkle just a little bit of salt. And that is how I prepare my corn. First red ripe giant Marconi. This is going to be a cucumber soup, one cucumber, one cayenne hot pepper, and a handful of sun sugar cherry tomatoes. I add just a little bit of water. Add a little bit of salt, pepper, about half a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And I heat it up just a little bit and it's so delicious. The sun sugar cherry tomatoes give it that nice sugary sweetness. This is pepperoncini. So I'm about to harvest the last corn plant. It's got one nice ear of corn. And it also has like these late blooming shoots. And I thought it'd be interesting to show what these unpollinated ears look like. When an ear of corn grows, it depends on the pollen from these things up here. So this is what unpollinated corn looks like. My last ear of corn turned out to be the best. It's near perfect. It's a lot better looking than this one. Here's an update on the tomato clones. I'm starting to put them in the sunshine for about an hour or two a day. Get used to the sun brightness. Well, it's July 16th, and I'm going to transplant some of these tomato clones, all six of them rooted. You 
you can see the root structure harvesting some red ripe peppers This is a moon glow pear tree. This is how you can tell your pears are ripe when they start to all fall down onto the ground. Oh my God, it's so delicious. It's got like twice the water content of a pear you would buy at the store. Back there is the moon glow pear. This is an Aries pear. So I've been having a problem with a deer eating my Roma tomato plants. So I've built this temporary prototype fence. It's got pieces of string tied to posts that are in buckets of dirt. This is prototype. Since it's in the front of my house, if this works, I'll make something better that looks better. Okay, well the deer was able to slip through the strings, so now I'm going to have to make prototype part two using regular nylon garden trellis. It costs $3.87 from Home Depot. So here it is strung up. I put some tomato cages on the ground to try to prevent it from walking in on this side. Well, it seems like the fence worked last night. Deer showed up and then moseyed on its own way. Up here in the hex bed, getting a whole bunch of Roma tomatoes. Plants aren't doing as good as I would like. I think they're competing for root space. It's pretty much sucked the life out of my sun sugar cherry tomato. The butternut squash plant is doing really good. Winding all the way down along the bush. It's got two little squashes starting to grow. Here's an update on the catnip plant. Here's an update on the lettuce plants that are starting to go to flower, producing seeds to try and help some cross-pollination, taking this cotton swab on the green plant, transferring it onto this. <laughs> the wind's blowing because I really want like some cross hybrid red sail and black seeded Simpson. When the flowers turn into these little white puffy things, when you know that the seeds are mature and ready to harvest.
that deer was eating my grapes. <laughs> grapes aren't quite ready. You can tell by squeezing them, they need to get a little softer before I can start harvesting. Here's a look down in this main garden. Harvesting lots of kale and collards and cucumbers. The large red cherry tomatoes are fizzling out. This plant is doing better than the other plant. The peppers are doing pretty good this year. They're all loaded down with bunches of peppers. Here's some hidden behind here. This is giant Marconi. One of my favorite varieties. This is the last remaining sun sugar. It's got this one branch that's still green and healthy. These are two sun sugar clones. And then this bed has the large red cherry tomato clones. Thanks for watching everybody. Happy gardening. Let me throw in a little update on the fig clone. It looks like it might survive. All the leaves dropped off, but now it's got green little shoots growing and the stem is still green.